Hey Scott here, welcome back. In this video of building my canoe, I'm going to show you how I milled up the strips. First we start with a visit to Grand Cedar Mill. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Alright, I'm back in the shop now. I've got the truck unloaded and uh, I got these a couple weeks before, at least before I expect to do the next step of milling to make sure I get the moisture content low enough. Um, just picking through them at the mill, you could tell quite a variety, just depending on how deep they were stacked. So let's check a couple out here. So that one comes in at 10. That one's 13. 13. 9. So, as you see, there's quite a variety. It's not too far off from where I'd want to use them. Let's try to get under the, the 9 to 10 or less. Um, so I'll stack them, sticker them, let the air flow through, and hopefully we'll be ready to use them soon. The process started by running all the boards through the planer to get a consistent thickness. Then jumped over to the miter saw and cut off the rough edges. Next, a quick stop on the joiner to get a straight edge that we could use against the fence and the table saw. Here the fence is set up so that we consistently rip one quarter inch wide strips. This was repeated 199 times. Then with the router set up with a beading bit and feather boards to hold a consistent pressure, each strip was run through one time to get that pro flap. Okay, so I just finished milling the bead onto all 199 pieces. As you can tell, need to work on some better dust collection for the router before I do the coat, but I'll swap that out to this other bit here. So I have the setup here. You can see the bit, we've got a little guard, dust collection, things can work better. Also have a test run on the cove to go with the bead. And they lock in pretty nicely. So now just need to run a bunch of pieces and then this step is done. If you're enjoying the video on making the strips, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because the next video will be getting the forms and the strong back cut and assembled. So thanks for watching. Remember, don't just build, create.
If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for new video notifications, like, comment, and share. There's also a link below to any tools or product used during this video.